my name is Joseph Ni Otu Ankara, and um, I'm from Ghana, and uh, I'm a musician. I, I was actually part of the first season of Project Fame West Africa. My name is Ni. I came second place in I Am One. And right after Project Fame West Africa, I decided to begin pursuing my music career. So in my, in my quest in trying to uh, find success, I was willing to go any further. I was willing to go as far as I could. I was willing to be a part of the cult. Whatever that will bring me success, I was willing to do so. So I began to uh, research about the courts, uh, how I could get closer to them. If there were any in my country, Ghana, I, I found out actually that some were pretty close to me and all that. And right when I was about taking that final step in being a part of the courts, one evening I was sleeping and I dreamt. And the beautiful thing is that the place that I saw was actually this place, this particular place. I remember this wall. I was standing on the third row, and the man of God was doing his regular prophecies. And he passed by me, then he came back, and he just looked at me, and he tapped me on the chest. And all he said was that, you see the microphone you are holding? Drop it and pick up God's microphone. He didn't know me from anywhere. Now, when I woke up from the dream, I was wondering what he was talking about. Then all that God kept on telling me was that I was actually holding the wrong microphone. In other words, I was singing the wrong kind of songs. And sorry, brother, just before you go ahead, at this stage, what was your impression about the ministry here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations? And what did you know about Prophet TB Joshua? Truth is, I've had Emmanuel TV at home, but I never watched it. I didn't have any interest in trying to watch it so I had no idea about this place and how this place even looked like as a matter of fact it was when I got here today that I saw that it was actually this particular place that I saw so when I saw this dream and I realized that this was actually God's calling upon my life that circular music wasn't where I belong God has called me for something higher something much more beautiful which was for me to sing and glorify his holy name so I decided to quit circular music right now if you go to ghana most people know that i stopped circular music and i'm singing strictly gospel music but most of them do not know the secret behind what came about the true turn around about my calling i saw that the man of god in my dream i decided that okay since i have Emmanuel tv why don't i go ahead and start watching Emmanuel tv and then when i began watching Emmanuel tv it was beautiful each and every Sunday or each and every time that I saw Standard for Life, I heard the man of God preach the word of God. I was like, this is beautiful. This is, this is too deep. I've always heard this scripture. I never thought this was how deep the scripture was. I never thought this was actually what God was trying to say. And I began to love what the man of God was saying. And I kept on, T.B. Joshua said this and he said this and he said that. And every Saturday mornings, we always have prayer meetings. And one of the uh, one Saturday morning during prayer meeting, our leader just approached me and all he said was that he can see that I have filtrations in my spirit. Why? Because he said that it was because I listened or I watched too much Imano TV. I listened to the man of God too much. Now I was confused. I was dead confused because this time I was closer to God. I was hearing him much more clearer through his word. So I kept on asking questions because I believe and I knew that it is impossible for the spirit of God to lead me to destruction. It's absolutely impossible. So I kept on asking God, that God, what is this thing all about? Now, one evening as I was sleeping, I saw that I was in the presence of a beautiful and a bright light which I believe was in the presence of God. Now, it was too bright. I couldn't turn to look at it. So I was just looking straight ahead, and the light was just right here. So, and right beside the light, lined up about 11 other beings. Okay, so I was just wondering why this, why I couldn't turn to look at it, and I realized that I was actually in the presence of God. Now, these 11 other beings, every being actually had a similar color, like a white-skinned color. But there was only one color that was different, which was like an African color. 
So I was wondering why it was so. Now these beams by the brighter lights were also glowing, but I could actually look at them. So I went closer to look at these beams. I wanted to find out why this particular one was different from the others. And when I looked at the face, I realized that it was the man of God that I was seeing. Now, now when I woke up, I was in tears. I could just feel the Holy Spirit all around me. And I was saying that it is absolutely impossible for anybody to tell me that this man is not real. Because God himself, he has his hand upon the life of this man. It is absolutely impossible. This God is real. And since then, I have decided to keep on learning from the man of God. And I know my people in Ghana, you are hearing me. And I know you guys know me. You know me from Mentor 2, Project Film West Africa. You know me, you know Joe, way back home. And you've been wondering what happened. Or you, when you Google Niso, all you see is Niso switches to gospel music. You never knew what happened to me. Now this is what happened to me. I encountered Jesus. I saw Jesus, the man of God ministered to me and i saw the greatness of god upon the man of god's life and i'm loving him some more and i'm so happy to be in the presence of god's children i'm so happy well we heard from our brother how he in a divine revelation saw prophet tb joshua and that was the inspiration behind his switch from secular music into gospel music and tell us brother right now how is your gospel music career it's wonderful. For the first time in my life, I've never ever sat down to write music. I just hear the melodies and the words. One evening I prayed and all I heard was that, open the Bible and open to Psalm 71. When I opened to Psalm 71, I was trying to read Psalm 71. I couldn't read it. I began to sing Psalm 71. Now this was beautiful. I was like, who can tell me this God ain't real? Well, if anybody told you this God is not real, I am telling you that. Take my life as a testimony that this God is real. Well, now you're talking about seeing this particular man of God in the dream. Just, just once again, specify which particular man of God are you referring to? I'm talking about Prophet T.B. Joshua. First of all, I saw him and he said that, drop that microphone you're holding and pick up God's microphone. And the next time when things were going confusing in my mind, God cleared it up to me and said, this man is right beside me right now. And I just saw him with God himself. Wow. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We rejoice with our brother for the wonderful testimony in his life, the transformation in his career. And uh, I think for the glory of God, we just need to hear a quick song from you, brother, to, to thank Jesus Christ for what he has done in your life and your career. Amen. I learned this song on Friday. It's a favorite song of mine. So I'd like to sing it to the glory of God. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you, God. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, give me you. Lord, give me you. My Jesus, give me you. Lord, give me you. Cause it's me, your son. See, I'm on my knees, crying out to you, God. It's me, oh God, I'm on my knees, so give me you, Jesus, give me you, God, give me you, yeah, everything else can wait. The money and fame, God, give me you, Lord. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, give me you, Lord, give me you. Oh, give me you, Lord. 
hug in you. Love you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty for your life, brother. We just want to encourage you continue to run the straight race through God's good grace. And we know we're going to be hearing more wonderful testimonies in your life and career. Indeed, the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. One more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives.